Can you get a great cash deal by using a car loan? The answer is yes. If you're shopping at a car dealership, your cash doesn't help you much at the time of the sale. But there's a way to get a simple cash deal while still playing the dealer's financing game. Today, you get to find out how. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homer Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? This video brought to you by YouTube's best channel on car buying and selling, courtesy of the Homer Guy team and our super high intensity training for car buyers. If you like the Homer Guy videos, check the merch shelf down below and you can get one of these cool shirts or hoodies like this one. Today, we're talking about how a cash buyer can play the car dealer's financing game. You know, they love to write those car loans and still get a cash deal when all is said and done. Here's why you have to play it the way we're suggesting. Franchise car dealers, the dealers with new cars on their lot, will only make between 25 and 30% of their profits from the price of the car. For some dealers, the number can even be lower. So how do they make the big bucks? Well, you should know by now that it's after the sale, in accessories and finance, and later in parts and service. That's 100% true, no matter what you've come to learn about car prices over the years. Since the majority of profits are made elsewhere, after the sale, you're going to have to be smart in how you use your cash. So we've put together some ideas on how you can use the dealer's financing process to get the best price and still pay cash for your car. I'll be back in 30 seconds right after this short message from the Homework Guy team. If you're a first-timer on the Homework Guy channel, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the Homework Guy if you'd like a response directly from Kevin or one of the Homework Guy staff members. We're always glad to help our loyal followers, and the best part is, there's no charge. You can also email the team at info at the with a specific question, or if you'd like a free contract review, just black out your personal information and send it to us. We'd love to hear from you. Just be aware that we do get a lot of requests, so just be patient while you wait for a response. Back to you, Kevin. The car dealer wants you to finance. You want to pay cash. But if you resist taking a loan, you can lose out on getting the best price on the car you want. Here's the Homer Guy method for how you use their process against them and still get a cash deal when all is said and done. Number one, car price. Negotiate the car price, making it clear you intend to finance. At this point, you won't say anything about products, fees, loan rates, nothing. You're just going to put the screws on them on car price all the while letting them think they'll get you in finance. The truth is, agreeing to accept the financing will save you price negotiation headaches. Number two, get an out-the-door price before you go to finance. This must be done on the showroom floor with your car salesman. Now that you have a car price, you want to convert this to an out-the-door price before you head to finance. Have them give you the tax title license or registration fees and add it to the price of the car. Have the bottom line price, otherwise known as the OTD or out the door price, in your hand before you go to finance. Now that you're ready to head to finance, this brings us to number three, products. You're going to be sitting in finance. That guy across the desk is going to start pulling out something known as menus. You don't want to know what's on the menu. It starts with products. Things he or she is going to tell you are designed to protect your investment, but it isn't true. This stuff simply adds to dealership profits. They are called products. You already have an OTD price, a price you could write a check for and leave. So don't let the finance man pack your loan full of products or you'll be paying for them in cash dollars later or have to deal with the headache of canceling all this stuff before you pay off your loan. Don't do this to yourself. Number four, fees. Fees are even more important to be diligent about. You cannot let them change your OTD price by tacking on fees. Fees cannot be canceled after the fact like products can, and they are not refundable after you've signed the bottom line and taken delivery on your car. Number five, prepay penalties. Most car loans will not have a prepay penalty. However, before you agree to a loan, make sure you read the fine print to verify that there are no prepay penalties. Because they don't want a loan paid early, finance officers will commonly tell you that you should make at least 90 days worth of payments if you ask about prepay. This is nonsense for the most part. They are simply protecting themselves from a chargeback by telling you this. What's in the fine print is what's true. You can even call the bank and talk to them about it before you sign on to the deal. Number six, call the bank. After you've already signed the deal and driven away, you're going to call the bank for a 10-day payoff. You're going to do this seven to 10 days after the deal. Your other options would be to do this 30, 60, or 90 days later. Number seven. You're going to write a check. You're done. 
you have the same thing as a cash deal. Now, in case you missed it, why would you do this if paying cash were your object from the very beginning? Well, two reasons. Price negotiations were much easier because they thought they'd get you in finance. And if you want to use the loan for 90 days to boost your credit score, you always could do that. We do it sometimes too. Make a few payments and then just pay the car off. Having good credit is always a good thing and this can help. Hopefully, this helped you out. If you learned something good today and appreciated the video, consider giving us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the homework guy. Share the video on social media with your friends and make sure to join us on Facebook and Twitter too. We post notifications and other updates on our social media sites and answer car buyer questions there too. If you love what we do and want to say thanks for the tip, well, PayPal and Cash App links that you see appearing on the screen here now will be easy to find in the description box down below. But no problem if you can't do a tip. You can say thanks by sharing with your family and friends and continuing to encourage others to subscribe to the Homework Guy channel. That's huge. It's one of the most important things you can do as a loyal follower and viewer on the channel. We appreciate everything you do and you help us get the word out and defeat the bad guys in the car business who still haven't learned that fairness and honesty is the best business model. Thanks everyone for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. You guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care.